This is your Fox 10 News Now update. Hi everyone, I'm Michael Warwick with your Fox 10 News Now update. Family members mourning the loss of a mother who was killed in a traffic crash Wednesday night. According to Pritchard Police, an erratic driver slammed into an elderly woman's car, killing her. It happened on Highway 45 near Wasson Avenue. According to police, 26 year old William Derek Howard Jr. was the man that ran a red light and collided head on with 56 year old Jocelyn Johnson. Police say Howard tried to leave the scene of the wreck, but didn't get far before police were able to catch up to him and take him into custody. At this time, investigators say it is unclear why Howard was speeding. A question both Brandon and Carlicia want to know so they can bury their mom in peace. We heard a couple of different stories that Pritchard was chasing the guy and he was going at a high rate of speed and that what really caused the wreck. So we just trying to get a better understanding to receive justice for my mom. Family and friends say a balloon release is set to happen Friday afternoon in the area of the crash. That'll be at 5 o'clock. Mobile police looking for three people who are accused of beating a man with a rake and a baseball bat. Police say the victim was walking somewhere on Live Oak Street around 430 Wednesday morning when the suspects attacked him, leaving him with a broken arm. The victim was taken to the hospital. If you know anything, call police. A woman is out of jail on bond after police say she used a kitchen knife to slash a man, man's tires, then stab him. All this happening Wednesday afternoon at Dauphin Gate Apartments on Dauphin Street. Investigators say Kia Henderson got into a fight with the victim sitting in a car. Police say she left to go to her apartment, but came back with the knife, ultimately stabbing the victim's hand. A pit bull attack sends a man to the hospital. Police say he was riding his bike down West Gulf Terra Drive when the dog came after him. He suffered severe cuts to his face, his neck and arm. A mobile animal control has taken custody of the dog. Well, howdy there folks, I'm meteorologist Matt Barrington. Of course, we're headed into our 4th of July weekend and we're looking at some uh, decent chances of rain here going into the evening hours. You're going to have to watch out for some showers on your Friday night. Temperatures will stay very muggy and mild in the 70s here throughout the night. All right, now the big forecast is what's going to happen for your Saturday. Well, first few hours of the day ought to be OK. And after that, uh, Sorry, but it's likely to be pretty active here coming up on our 4th of July. Uh, looking at, well, spotty showers and storms at lunchtime, but then as we get into the afternoon, things will pick up. We'll have numerous showers and thunderstorms. Now, that doesn't mean it rains all day at your house, okay? Now, looking at that, these things tend to be pretty brief, but there'll be good coverage of them out there tomorrow afternoon with uh, lots of lightning and heavy rain at times with these and some gusty winds as well. So, something to watch out for. You're just going to have to be flexible with your plans if you're out there at the barbecue, at the grill. You might have to pack things in for a little bit and go inside, let the storms pass, and they do pass. Uh, but it will take some time out there for you tomorrow. So just something to be aware of on your 4th of July. We're going to be dealing with showers and storms. Same deal on Sunday and really the same deal for much of the upcoming week, too. We are looking at really active conditions. We have a lot of moisture in the atmosphere, a lot of good conditions for showers and thunderstorms. So it's likely to be pretty wet on most days. So just you're going to have to make sure you plan around that, plan around that thunder and lightning. Make sure you be careful here as we go through the holiday weekend. Stay tuned to Fox 10 News throughout the day for the latest updates. This has been your Fox 10 News Now update.